YouTube was good as books, man. That's it. So that would be breaking down every playmaking badge for y'all, including Bullet Passer. I know it's a lot of questions y'all got about Bullet Passer and the pass accuracy rating itself. But before we get into that, just hit that sub button for daily 2K content on next gen, including build videos. So first, we're going to get into the new badges this year, and that's going to be Relay Passer, Special Delivery, and Bullet Passer. First Bullet Passer, I do got it on gold in this video, and my pass accuracy is probably at 67, 67 or 68. So I didn't go with a high pass accuracy on this build, but my passes do get there, and rarely get stolen like I'm, I'm sure i went a while before i even got a turnover in this in this game so i do got some details on the bullet passer badge for y'all and the pass accuracy rating and i really feel like if you got pass accuracy you really don't need bullet passer but it does on, on each level even bronze it makes your passes a lot quicker well i really wouldn't even say a lot because i don't want you to feel like they about to be just zipping you feel me because if you got low pass accuracy your pass is not gonna go as fast as if you have like 90 pass accuracy compared to my 68 pass ac pass accuracy and everything so i gotta let y'all know that but in this gameplay i do got it on gold so they going a little bit faster than on bronze at the same time though they ain't not going super fast you feel me i ain't gonna lie but on the fast break passes that's that's where i notice uh that the passes is a lot quicker and not really much more accurate you feel me because with with just a 68 pass accuracy you feel me you're gonna be throwing even full court passes super accurate but as soon as i get the ball as soon as i get the rebound bro yo i'm zipping them down the court like bro when we play with a whole squad most people quit out but you feel me i'm zipping them like if i get the rebound i'm throwing it right down and it's it's a wide open dunk every time so you don't really need your pass accuracy high, but you do need some pass accuracy. And if you play in comp situations, bro, like like if you if you pass the ball a lot, you definitely need at least 61 pass accuracy. You feel me? You need to at least start your build with 61 pass ac accuracy. You feel me? Or 62. You feel me? So you can have bailout and a bullet passer once you hit 99 overall. But the second badge we're gonna get to is special delivery and it's the new flashy passer basically it's it's really the same you just throw flashies and you feel me y'all get y'all team takeover up quick and that's pretty much what the other team trying to do right now they center is throwing all flashies and well pretty much i say more than half his passes have been flashies you feel me and probably will be for most of the game but i just wanted to show y'all uh it's not as fire as y'all think it is that fire but it's not that easy it's not as easy as y'all think that's that's what i should say the other team pretty much gonna be playing defense unless they just leave me all open the whole game for me then y'all could throw flashies all day but flashies usually aren't even really that accurate but the uh the center is a post facilitator so i'm sure he got at least an 80 uh pass accuracy and everything you feel me you do got a good pass at a lot of people be trying to throw flashies with low pass accuracy and that's not gonna go and another thing you could just put this badge on bronze and it's gonna let you throw lobs off the glass and bounce lobs so that's definitely a good use for the badge and bronze that's that's really not wasting you feel me much badges you don't gotta throw it on hall of fame and everything now next badge relay passer and relay passer you pretty much giving the boost on the pass to assist so if you got dimer and relay passer you could you could pass it to somebody and if he don't shoot and he passed it to somebody else you feel me they gonna get your boost from your relay passer so that's definitely fire and it's like really having a backup dimer you feel me like that's that's tough <laughs> i ain't gonna lie you feel me and if you get in if, if you got relay passer on and you throw it to somebody with dimer and they pass it to something bruh <laughs> that's a high percentage shot like no lie bro like you can't miss at the same time though i know a lot of people don't like wasting playmaking badges and we don't get as many playmaking badges because most people make their bills to get the most shooting badges finishing badges and you feel me defense and playmaking it's like usually people just try to get what they can and not everybody got all of that even the people that push point 
you feel me they not out here pushing point with 30 badge point guards you feel me so not everybody will want to throw that on and it'll really be the, the people that need you to throw on dimer and relay passer it'll be the people that shooting with they meter bro like you know what i'm saying like how are you gonna ask me to sacrifice my playmaking badges when you ain't even sacrifice your meter bro like what, what you doing you feel me but we're gonna get on to the next badge you feel me and that's all for the new ones but you feel me we do we do got some more heat because a lot of the playmaking badges is tough and i use a lot of them that y'all probably wouldn't even think i use like i switch my playmaking badges a lot so now we're done with the new badges but the last thing i gotta say is if you make a point guard with no pass accuracy or you feel me like bro you tripping <laughs> like uh, you could have pass accuracy and not equip bullet pass or you feel me being a point and if you are iso player you definitely you definitely could get by without like maxing your uh, pass accuracy and everything like just putting it at a level to get bullet pass or you feel me you definitely gonna be good but whenever you playing real comp i definitely would advise you to throw that bullet passer up if you could you feel me like at least on bronze you feel me because you don't want to disrespect these locks out here <laughs> like you feel me? you can't just be throwing it like randomly now getting into quick first step and the rest of the badges quick first step definitely a fire badge that you really gotta max out on any build on every build you definitely you want to have playmaking badges uh, like at least three you feel me so you could get a uh, quick first step on gold and that's really how 2k been since quick first step came out like no lie you definitely want to have that badge and even if you a center like six ten seven feet you feel me like you could get you could get a quick first step goal on a seven footer you just will have to be minimum weight but the crazy thing this year bro the point guards don't get quick first step unless they, they don't get quick first step on hall of fame unless they uh like six three like like nah nah not six three you gotta be six five yeah you gotta be six five minimum weight <laughs> you feel me to get uh to get quick first step hall of fame like bruh that's crazy when power fours is getting quick first step you feel me when they six seven and you feel me it really don't even matter with weight almost <laughs> But quick first step, I definitely have like ran quick first step on that lower level. And you just gonna be way slower. Like as soon as you catch the ball, even if it's on a fast break, like bruh, it's gonna slow you down, you feel me? And you wanna have the option to just speed boost out of you feel me, out of the triple threat and you feel me, just standing everything you do, you feel me? You just wanna move as fast as you can, you feel me? So it's really like no matter if you a shooter or a slasher bro you want to have quick first step as high as you can and i gotta let y'all know recently i made a new build and i didn't upgrade the speed and acceleration off rip i wanted to see if you could equip hall of fame quick first step and you feel me not upgrade the speed and acceleration see how you move bro you're gonna be moving way slower bro do not do it <laughs> you feel me i had to let y'all know that but you feel me, don't sell yourself, don't waste your VC, you feel me, let me do it. I'm making builds like really like every two weeks. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, I got probably at least six builds right now, if not seven. But next badge we gonna get into is Ankle Breaker. And Ankle Breaker, you, you really gonna get those off of the, it say the step backs, but not not as much the step backs as the spins spins is definitely gonna uh get you those a little bit more and while we talking about the ankle catching badges we might as well get to space creator and tight handles tight handles that's pretty much gonna be you're gonna, you're gonna catch the ankles off of size ups so you could come down and you could really do a simple quick you feel me left right and you feel me just go on them real quick and tight handles is definitely gonna activate most of the time you just got to throw it on like gold and you definitely go with that a lot of people do get uh well i mean a lot of people don't get hall of fame ankle breaker but you do get uh hall of fame tight handles and bro it is it's definitely a good badge this year now space creator the third ankle catching badge that's definitely good this year too but it's not as good as it was and i would say 2k20 i really think 
and 2K20 Space Creator took over when tight handles got patched. Like, I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, I was rocking Space Creator on the Hall of Fame all the time, bro. But this year, it seemed like tight handles would activate the easiest. And Ankle Breaker, I feel like you gotta do... You just gotta do different moves to get the Ankle Breaker to, uh, to activate and everything. It's like... It, it just really depends on your play style, I would say. Like, if, if you come down and you feel me, you stop the ball, you got time to come down with some ankle breaker moves, you feel me, then that's going to be a go for you. Like, that's that's good. But me, I'm not going to lie. I usually like to just come down and get a bucket real quick. Like, I don't come down and dribble, like, repeatedly. <laughs> I go to the open spot and shoot or, you feel me, like, if I'm, if I'm trying to make a video on the ankle breaker badge like i did for current gen then i put the badge on gold and i just would have to change my play style a little bit to get ankle breaker to activate a little bit more just the way i play tight handles actually activate more the one move that i use that the ankle breaker do activate on is pretty much just the full court spins besides that i really don't do too many ankle breaking moves now you definitely can equip all three of these at the same time and just go out there and catch stupid ankles you feel me you just gotta know what moves is gonna keep catching them you feel me like none of the badges activate at the same time they really for specific moves but they not gonna activate off just that one move like you gotta keep hitting boys you feel me then the more you break them down it's it's gonna, it's gonna just make it easier to hit them you feel me but moving on to bailout bailout that is a uh, fire badge bro like yo even on bronze is bailout is just a badge you need bro if you a shooter i really feel like anybody who shoot bro need bailout not that you not that it's the end all be all you feel me I'm not saying everybody gotta have bailout now if you're not a shooter you don't need bailout but a lot of y'all don't know you can pass out of slashing animations like Especially if you about to go up with a layup and you feel me, it's a it's a big man camping paint. You think you about to bang it, but they give you the layup. You could definitely pass out of that. And you could pass out of a whole slashing animation, bro. Like even it looked like like everybody on the other team gonna think that you about to go up. You feel me? Like everybody dropping down, bro. You could dot dot your man right out of that. I just died of my man in the corner yesterday out of a whole slashing animation when the uh when the big man dropped down and everything. So gotta put y'all onto that. That's that's definitely working for slashers too. It's just not a badge that you gotta have. But next badge is break starter. And break starter, I know a lot of bigs used to equip this as they won badge and past two Ks and everything. And it really never was a good badge to me, bro. Like I'm not gonna hold you. Break starter never worked, bro. If you had no pass accuracy before and you put on break starter, you were still throwing full court passes out of bounds, bro. But this year, they 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 give you the option to get five or six playmaking badges without even putting on pass accuracy. But at the same time, they don't give you the option to put on break starter when you don't upgrade your pass accuracy, you feel me? So this year, if you don't upgrade that pass act, you are not getting break starter if you wanted to throw it all, <laughs> like, you feel me? I did equip break starter though and you feel me try it out with one of my bills with pass accuracy it's just not needed though because i never throw passes out of bounds on those bills i actually needed it on the bill that i can't get it though you feel me so if you don't upgrade your pass accuracy you're not getting break starter and you just got to be smart with your passes but you feel me if you upgrade your pass accuracy it's no need for the badge next badge dimer dimer always been a good badge and this year is it's good on gold like you definitely gonna see a good increase when you put it on on gold and you could definitely put it on hall of fame and give your teammates that extra boost that's definitely definitely gonna hit dimer is a good badge great badge but this is next gen you feel me everybody control exactly what a three ball is so you really should be hitting without the dimer like your teammate should be hitting without the dimer too you feel me so dimer is definitely a good badge but next badge downhill downhill is something you really don't have to put on at all but i do run with it so i'm gonna let y'all know why i run with it 
I'm on a 6-7, and you feel me? You're not fast on a 6-7, but I got a couple extra playmaking points because it's so easy to get playmaking badges on 6-7 and 6-8 playmaking. Uh, I mean, 6-7 and 6-8 power forwards. But downhill is going to give you that increase on speed in the first third of the court. So if you run at full court, whether it's rec or park, I'm saying it's going it's going to hit, but it's just not going to activate all the time because you're not going to always catch the ball in that first third of the court, especially if you're not the point guard. So if you is the 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 point guard, and I'm saying you can throw on downhill. It's just still not a badge that you need, but I do find it use for you feel me because I'm on a six seven again. You feel me? I'm not like 92 speed and everything. So whenever we need a bucket bro i'm down there calling for it like off the inbound like yo let me, let me get that rock bro you know what i'm saying and i take off with it like it it do work it's not a badge that you need but bronze and silver downhill you don't need to put it on like gold or hall of fame but bro that it the, the badge do work if you want to use it for those reasons you feel me like it even launch you in the like you feel me like uh step back animations and everything you know you know how you gotta be going at certain speed you know what i'm saying to do certain moves like that's that's pretty much what i use it for but that'll take us to the next badge that's floor general and floor general that's pretty much another badge that's gonna help you with speed and by that i mean when somebody on your team put floor general on hall of fame it's giving you plus four to your speed all your attributes and everything plus four and it's showing him, the person that equipped the badge, is showing them red rings under everybody that's in their hot zones, you feel me? So he know who to dot, you know what I mean, when they in their hot zones. Like, you really, everybody can have hot zones, like, for real, for real. But if you only got two shooters on your team, then, you know what I'm saying, or three shooters, but everybody ain't crazy shooters, you know what I'm saying? You know who in their hot zones when, and you know I'm saying, who would be the best man to hit. But... That's definitely a fire badge and also it's gonna help you speed boost so a lot of people not worried about speed boosting but some people is so gotta say when you equip the floor general you speed boost at 86 ball control so if you made a guard or a small four six six and under you could probably max your uh, ball control out and be able to speed boost off rip but six seven power fours y'all could max your ball control out at 84 and if somebody put their hall of fame uh floor general on that's gonna give you 88 ball control and you're gonna be able to speed boost off rip you feel me you could be 85 overall like it don't matter you feel me you definitely gonna want to have that quick first step though and another badge you're gonna need is handles for days and really the fatigue is crazy in this game but like you see you see how fast my meter just ran out on that one little speed boost you feel me to the side like you need to have handles for days on hall of fame and you might not even be happy with the results honestly i don't think handles for days is good enough <laughs> you feel me but maybe i just hold on r2 a little too much i know you could definitely dribble without r2 but on defense you feel me i i, I hold r2 a lot especially in uh rec because you're running full court next badge needle threader needle threader used to be pretty much what bullet passer is now but since we got bullet passer we just don't need needle threader it seemed like it's giving you a, a small pass accuracy boost but you really just don't need that if you got pass accuracy you got the needle threader badge but you just don't need the needle threader badge you know what i'm saying next badge though stop and go stop and go i do hear about people using stop and go but it just never never worked for me like honestly i equipped it one day and i tried to I, I tried i tried to do some moves and everything and it kind of just threw me off a little bit because it was giving me the stop and go animations when i didn't want them you know what i'm saying like if, if you know how to rock with the stop and go badge then you could equip stop and go but it is a play style badge so it's definitely not a badge that a lot of people need now unpluckable most people dribble the ball at some point you feel me unless you really the center so unpluckable is definitely a badge that most people is going to need at least on bronze i recommend silver silver is going to get you 
get you fire you feel me especially if you smart with the ball you only needed that silver but with these locks you feel me i do recommend going hall of fame so this is the best badge setup i got for 17 playmaking badges minus the ankle breaker because you really don't even need that but your teammates might need dimer and you can go up on special delivery for the takeover tight handles and space creator you feel me to catch crazy ankles but that's probably that's probably where i rock with i really wouldn't go that many badges on a playmaker unless you really you really a speed boost and playmaker like for real for real but i definitely appreciate y'all support i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one hit that sub button you'll enter yourself into the 450 dollar xbox and psn card giveaway